Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quentin here and welcome to tutorial number 10 and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use the video tag in HTML. So if you ever want to add a video to your website then this is how you do it. Um, so jump over to your text editor and uh, you can see right now I've cleared everything out so my browser is blank and I'm going to add a video to my website by opening up a video tag. Now this is a new tag in HTML. Uh, so it's it's new to HTML5. Uh, fortunately though, HTML5 has been around for quite a long time now and uh, it should actually be supported by most browsers. But just in case somebody is using a computer that's like 10 years old and uh, they're using Internet Explorer and they've never updated Internet Explorer. Uh, this video tag would probably not work for that person. So, uh, you know, the, the number of people who this applies to is hopefully by now very, very small. Uh, but let's just add in a message here to say this. Um, if you can see this, if you can see this, update your browser, right? So, uh, basically, this message should only display if uh, the user has a really old, out-of-date browser and a really old computer. Uh, so let me save this and hit refresh in my browser. And as you can see, the message isn't showing up. That means my browser at least supports HTML5 and it supports this video tag. So I'm good to go and I'll continue by adding some more information here. So inside of the video tag, I want to add another tag. By the way, whenever you add a tag within a tag, that's called nesting, and we're gonna do that quite a lot um, in future videos. Uh, so I thought I'd just mention the term. But let me add another tag over here called source. And uh, the source tag basically lets you set a source for the video. So we get to decide what video we want to add to our website. Now, if I take a look at uh, my htdocs folder over here, um, I wonder if I just zoom in this way if, it get, if they get bigger. Nice, now I don't have to edit that. Uh, so I've got my index file and then I've also got uh, this video called Storm Clouds MP4. Now, make sure that whatever video you're trying to add is an MP4 because MP4 is supported by most browsers. Uh, if you're trying to add a video that is not an MP4, chances are good it's not going to work. Um, so, make sure that it is an MP4 and then what you can do is uh, just go ahead and grab that file name or uh, if you are foldering your videos away, uh, make sure to use the correct file path, but seeing as uh, my video and my HTML document are in the same directory, I'm just gonna copy that name, paste it in here, uh, and then for type, I'm gonna set this equal to video slash mp4, right? So um, the type is just to specify what type of video it is, but we know that most videos that work, I mean, most browsers only support MP4, so we're gonna specify a type of MP4 and we're gonna make sure that we're using an MP4. Uh, if you're using something else, I think the only other ones that are supported are OGG and uh, WebM, and even those are only supported in some browsers and not in others. So uh, just make sure that you're using an MP4, it's the safest way. Uh, okay. So now let me go ahead and save this and jump back over to the browser and hit refresh. And you can see I've got a video showing up, but it is rather large. Um, so this was a video of me in Germany and there were some storm clouds coming in. It's actually on my vlog channel if you wanna check it out. Uh, but let me just uh, add a few more attributes to this video to make it fit the page and also uh, to make the video play, because right now, uh, you know, I'm clicking on the video and it's not playing. How do I get this video to play? Uh, let me show you, right? So, uh, for in the video tag, I'm going to add an attribute called width. And what that is gonna do is determine the width of our video. So I'm gonna set that equal to 600. Uh, then I'm going to also add an attribute for height. And I'm gonna set that equal to 340. 
Uh, so 600 by 340 uh, used to be the old YouTube standard. So that's how I know this video should fit. Um, so let me come back here and hit refresh. Okay, so now the video fits inside of the browser, but I still can't play it. Um, how do I get this video to play? Well, um, we can come back to the text editor and add an extra attribute here called controls. Um, and that doesn't have to be set to anything, so you don't have to have an equal sign as long as the word controls appears in the uh, tag, we should now get some controls appearing in the browser. So let me come back here and refresh. And now I've got this beautiful set of controls below my video. So if I hit play, you see that? That does not look good. Uh, then my video actually plays and um, obviously pause and I've got some volume controls, etc., etc. I can also make it full screen. Uh, so yeah, the default controls are pretty good. Uh, whoopsie, <laughs> I messed my, my window up. Now I've got to resize it again. Okay, so uh, that is how you add a video with controls, but there are a few other attributes I want to talk about. Um, and so let me just grab my list over here. Uh, there is uh, another attribute called autoplay, which if you specify this, uh, as long as autoplay is set as a value over here. Whenever you uh, uh, open this web page uh, in your browser, it will automatically play the video. So let me hit refresh. You see that? That does not. Okay, so now whenever the uh, the page opens, you see that the video plays, right? Um, so uh, yeah, that is is somewhat. It's useful in some cases, but it can be annoying in others. So you need to decide when you want a video to play automatically or not. Um, but yeah, the autoplay options are there. Uh, then there is another option or another attribute that we can add called loop. And this does precisely what you think it does. It loops the video. Uh, so let me remove autoplay, save this, go back to the browser, refresh and uh, I'm gonna play the video, but when the video gets to the end, it's gonna loop, so. You see that? That does not look good at all. <laughs> well, not the buildings, the sky. You see that? So uh, yeah, now that the, the video reached the end, it looped. Uh, and that is because we have the loop attribute set. If that's not set, the video will not loop uh, over and over again. Okay, so let me take that out. And uh, then I want to talk to you guys about um, another attribute that you can set, which is muted. And obviously if you set this um, and you, you run it in the browser, the video will automatically be muted. So you can see the, uh, the symbol there um, is down, I'm playing the video, there's no sound. Uh, as soon as I Good. click on the microphone, it's now unmuted. Uh, so you can control all these sorts of things um, by just adding in an extra attribute in the uh, opening tag of your video. Uh, and by the way, uh, if you're following along with this tutorial and your video is not showing up or you, uh, you can't figure out what the problem is, just make sure to validate your code. So uh, if you let me make a mistake so that the video doesn't show up, I'll purposefully make a spelling mistake in the video name, come back over to the browser, refresh. Oh, now you can see the video uh, is not displaying because, well, uh, I, I made a spelling mistake in the name, right? But if you're ever trying to figure out what your error is, go over to the HTML validator. I will leave a link in the video description. Browse, uh, find that HTML file that you've been creating and upload that to uh, the HTML validator and just check to see what your error is because if you made a typo in your video name, it will be, whoopsie, let's check this again. Maybe it's because I have a video set. Um, but it should, it should actually tell me that I've made a, a mistake. Not. Uh, 
Ah. Okay, so if you upload your file and hit check, um, it should tell you if you've made some kind of a mistake. Um, oh, service not available. What the hell? It just, it literally just worked. Let me hit refresh here again. Um, okay, so check. It's taking time. Okay, there we go. For some reason, this website's got issues today. But uh, there we go. If you check uh, your file in an HTML validator, it'll give you the error. So bad value, storm clouds, attribute source on element source, illegal character in path segment. Space is not allowed. So I use the space, that's bad. Um, and uh, yeah, bad, bad value because uh, it couldn't find the actual video. So let me go ahead and correct that and um, save this. And now if I jump back over to the browser and I refresh, uh, you can see that uh, the video is showing up again. But if I, I test this in a validator, I should not have any errors. Hopefully it works this time, please. <laughs> uh, bad. Uh, okay, so so it seems for some reason this uh, this site is down. That's not good. <laughs> but uh, let's try again. Okay, there we go. Document checking completed. No errors to show. Awesome. So uh, that is how you add a video to your website, and that is all I have for you. And I'll see you next time. I just want to send a shout out to my sponsors at Dev Mountain. They run a coding bootcamp with courses on iOS development, UX design, and web development. And they can teach you everything you need to know to get a job within this field. And they'll do it within 12 weeks, which I think is a rather impressive timeline. So go ahead and check out their website. The link is in the video description. And if you do contact them, make sure to tell them that I sent you. Hey, thanks for staying until the end of the video. That really means a lot to me. Now, while you're still here, there are a few things that you can do to help. First of all, if you haven't already, subscribe and watch another one of my videos. And if you wanna help me make more content more often, or if you feel that my content is just worth paying a little bit of money towards, you can check me out on Patreon. You can also check me out on social media. I will leave the links next to me. So go ahead and click on something and I'll see you guys next time.